You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a new face to Greater Brockton, Gail Delgado. Welcome, Gail. Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming on. Now, you're involved with the Brockton Arc. Yes. And you have an exciting event, a new event to, um, mm -hmm. to promote and tell us about. Um, I know the date. We talked a few details before you came mm -hmm. on here. Um, tell us about it. Well, it's, um, it's our fifth year doing the All Aboard the Arc. It's my fourth year um, being the uh, recruitment manager for it. And it's, um, it's a pledge-driven type fundraiser, where, but it's all-inclusive. That's where the all aboard the, all aboard the Arc comes in. It's a bus ride mm -hmm. to a central event where we meet up with other Arcs around the state, as well as the, the Arc of Massachusetts. And we, it's more like a rally, a celebration for all the um, progress that's been made um, in, in the community and in, you know, in our communities for people with developmental d disabilities. It, the date is Saturday the 16th, mm -hmm. starts at 10, right? Yep, we're leaving off from, the, um, from our local chapter, which is over on um, West Chestnut Street. 1250. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you go into the Common, so that's where everybody's meeting up. Yes. So the Common, look, at spring has sprung. We I had know. a tough winter. Oh. Everybody wants to be outside. And we're, we're hoping that it's going to be another beautiful day, just like we had last year, because last year was the first year we did it on the Boston Common, mm -hmm. and we had a blue sky day. So we're hoping for the same thing again this year. Well, if you're doing good work, it should be a bright sky out. I hope so. And, and that would be wonderful. So there's all sorts of stuff happening at this event. Mm -hmm. you, like you said, you start off at 10 o'clock with the Continental Breakfast. We'll tell people phone number, website, all of that before we finish this up. Okay. Um, is entertainment. There's speakers. Tell us about that. Okay. Well, our MC will be um, Susan Tran from one of the local Boston st um, television stations. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have Lauren Potter, who was the actress that played Becky on the TV show Glee. She's a, a young lady with Down syndrome who's using her talent as an, an actress to be a public voice um, for people such as, such as herself. And we'll probably have some couple politicians make a couple speeches. I'm not really sure exactly who we have coming that, that day. But we will also have this um, local band um, called the My Band, and My means it's it's called the Music and Arts Innovation Group, and it's some um, local um, DDS coordinators from the Brockton office who have formed a band with um, and help people that have um, disabilities um, perform in a band. Mm, that and sounds interesting. They're really really good performers. Um, I think they're one of their lead singers. She is um, feel. Well, vocalist and she is blind and the piano um, gentleman um, has autism but they sound I went and listened to them practice I was truly amazed let me tell you something Gail I teach at Massasoit and I have a student in my class right now who's autistic uh -huh. he was in my other class and he followed me to my second class because apparently I must have he, he liked me and mm -hmm. we related well he is a phenomenal artist he's going to Mass College of Art mm -hmm. and he was told he couldn't do these things years yes. ago. Whole different thing. I had mm -hmm. a blind student in my TV class, and I was going to say, how's that going to work out? Guess what? He's the only one that listened to me. How's that? Mm -hmm. And he was an A-plus student in my well, class. That so makes sense to me. It just proves that people that have any kind of disabilities, they turn it into an ability. Correct. Okay. Um, ARC is a great organization in Brockton, statewide, nationally. Mm -hmm. um, this is exciting. Now tell us what you mean by pledge driven. What does that mean? Um, people would um, decide that they want to ask other people for um, donations. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a, t a team effort type of thing and then you'd have, you know, like so-and-so would ask their relatives or friends and, mm -hmm. you know, so it can be all different size donations. Um, we do have, you know, some companies, bank, local banks mm -hmm. that do um, do sponsor us, and we get a really good um, good turnout from a nice, you know, group of people in the city of Brockton. See, this started with an email to, to from you to me about pledging, mm -hmm. and then I said, well, before I do that, let's talk about it. Let's get people to know what's going on mm -hmm. and to understand it. Tell us how to get in touch with you, phone number, email, things like that, so people can 
I, you're probably you're leading a team, right? I'm assuming. Yes, I am. You got your own team. Yes. Plus, there are lots of teams. So tell us how people can get in touch. Okay. With you. Well, I have um, one team that is um, all the people that kind of work at the Ark and stuff like that, or advocates for, or people that advocate for. But I started another team called Bark's Web Friends. Mm -hmm. So you can um, the actually the easiest way to make a donation to us first off would be um, Brockton area. Arc.org. We have a nice little donate button on our website page, mm -hmm. and you just have to make a notation in the messages that this is for all aboard the Ark. And I can be reached at 508 583 8030, extension 216. Okay, and I know you, I saw the thinking cap going on because you don't call yourself, okay? Right. I always know the phone <laughs> number, but you don't call yourself. That's true. Um, so people can pre register. Correct. It's be better to do that because you're raising the money. It's kind of like, in a sense, a walkathon. You raise the money yes. ahead of time and mm -hmm. then you have it. Or you can just decide on a whim ahead of time. What's mm -hmm. your cutoff? If, if this well, is the 16th, when I think would like, you need to know? Like the f What's the Saturday before? Then there would be that Friday before. So you're talking the Saturday before the um, event? Right, so I would need to know by that Friday. Which would be the 15th? No, the no, Friday, Friday before. Friday before the 8th. Yes, because okay. I need to know how many people you know are going to be joining us for the continental S breakfast. Still plenty and, of time, and then um, we're going to provide also a bag lunch for people that day. Are volunteers needed besides uh, the people that just go to the event the day of the event in yes, town, I or is it mostly a staff? Um, well, I, I do actually have um, a volunteer coming over from Harbor One. Okay. They sent that out, and somebody signed up with me to come and help with registration because they couldn't attend with us for the whole day. Yeah. Um, so you know, people could just call me and see what I see what I need. That would be that would also be helpful. Okay. And we are also looking for you know people from the community you know to join us, so they can learn a little bit more about what we do. What's the capacity of the bus? How many can you fit? Is it, is it, we is have 105 seats. 105 seats. Okay, so plenty of room on the bus. Yes. All aboard. Okay. Yes, all aboard. Just to recap, thank you for being here. You're welcome. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton, and I'm just going to give you the date, time, place. May 16th, 10 a.m., Brock, the Arc, Brockton Arc, 1250 West Chestnut Street, Continental Breakfast at 10, and then they'll be getting on the bus going to Boston. All aboard the Arc, 2015. Uh, we gave you the phone numbers for Gail and the website. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.